Hello, frugal friends. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing our weekly word, so let's get into it. We are doing John, First John, and we're gonna four, and we're gonna start at one, and we're gonna stop at nine. Okay, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of an antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already it's in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are in the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we that the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So what does and what does Jesus tell us? To love one another love he says that's the one commandment that he he's leaving with us it's not that hard to discern love from hate it's really not and we have an election coming up in america and we have to use our spiritual eyes and not our flesh it's you know i don't think god is happy with america right now either way you look at it but when i voted i made sure i voted for the person who is not spewing hate and who is not trying to divide us and keep us dividing because divide and conquer, right? And if you're a Christian, it's not hard for you to use your spiritual eyes and see who's preaching hate and who's not. So even if you don't want to vote, even if it doesn't go your way, it doesn't matter who the president is because we trust in God, not in man. Not in a golden idol. We trust in God. We listen to what, what the Bible tells us. And that's how we know what's right and wrong. And and if you if you choose wrong, God's not going to stop loving you. He's not going to stop loving you. He will never stop loving you. And he's here for us even in these times. Thank you guys for joining me today. And as always, you guys be blessed.